Welcome back to Living 808. The 46th anniversary Prince Lot Hula Festival is coming up and joining us to talk all about that, as well as the Moana Little Gardens Foundation Malama Kamana Nui program. We have from the foundation, Joey and Michael. Aloha, you guys. Aloha. Hello. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah. Now, I'm really excited because the 46th annual Prince Lot Hula Festival, it's actually going to be right here on KHON2, and it's coming up. It was held on July 15th. Correct. And so... It was the first time that we'd had it back oh, with yeah. us in quite some time. So what was it like, you know, the experience of finally being back again? It was wonderful. It was the first time in four years that we were able to hold a live event. And we're so excited that the numbers are showing that about 8,000 people actually joined us on the day of that event. Amazing. We had so many compliments and positive feedbacks about how excited everyone was to actually be able to physically come in person and mm -hmm. enjoy all the hula. Not only only were they enjoying the hula, they were enjoying practitioners and also crafters and the artists that did the crafting, as well as the local food that we brought to the event. And I know everyone loved that. And that yes. was such a highlight of being able to be back Absolutely. in person. But then, of course, it also aired right here on K22. Yes. And so um, the television audience, what did they see and what can they look forward to for the next one? Well, we are very fortunate that we were able to film the entire event so that we could actually have this virtual right. festival. We discovered, you know, that not only the live event is important, but so many people can't enjoy it in person. Mm -hmm. So bringing it to television to offer it to thousands more, you know, across the state and maybe even beyond the state is exciting for us. So they should expect to experience the best elements of the festival, 12 non-competitive halau dancing both kahiko and awana mele for all to enjoy. They also will have an opportunity to observe us awarding the Malia Kao Award mm -hmm. to Kumuhula Pohai Suza, who is the founder of, let me get it right, um, Kamamo Odiko Lehua. That's right. And, and yep. we actually spoke with her before yes. the festival as well. And she's just such a gem. Oh, I mean, she is. Oh, my gosh. So she well is. deserved. Yep. And it was wonderful to be able to see, I know, for those that were there. And now we're going to be able to bring it to the audiences. So, again, this happened a couple months ago, but it is coming to your TVs very soon. Yes. Um, I will talk about when people can see it. But, Michael, let's talk about the programs and activities that you sure. guys do. Because, I mean, you really support so many different avenues. So tell us more about the foundation and what you guys do. Certainly. So the foundation's kuleana has always been to protect the culture, the stories, and the cultural significance of Kamana Nui Valley, which is nestled in the back of Moana Lua. Um, it has been Vahipana for a long time, uh, dating back to Kakuiheva and before Kamehameha. Mm -hmm. um, as such, you know, Moana Lua Gardens Foundation has always been a pioneer in environmental education. So we offer a variety of different programs to engage the community, but also our schools. Um, we offer a variety of field trips out in Kamana Nui Valley for grades K through 8 where they can learn about plant identification, they can hear mo'olelo of the area, and they can really just engage and really develop that sense of place, the sense of self, and then really their sense of place within their own communities. Yeah, we're looking at some of the pictures from it. Looks like they have, oh, that's one of those weather sensors, right? Mm -hmm. It's an that's environmental neat. meter, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, and so what are some of, I mean, we're seeing some interesting things. I know you just listed off a bunch, but what are some of the activities that they do? Certainly, one of the highlights that really came out of the pandemic, as you can see, is our Alaka'i or leadership program that we do with high school students today. Uh, we're currently working with Campbell High School, about 85 students, and it's a combination of in-school lessons that are led by our education team. It's a six-week program combined with two trips out to Kamana Nui Valley where we take them on a hike. We ask them to look at the past. You know, for us, education has always been about looking from our past to understand today and make better and more informed decisions in the future. We're really trying to inspire the next generation of environmental stewards and learning about the past learning about environmental science, the importance of sustainability, and what you can do in your own community to help has always been an important part of that. I love that. And for those that want to be a part of that and maybe want to learn more, um, how can teachers or schools find more info? They can check out our website, and we have an email, education at mgfhawaii.org. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. All right, and we'll have a link to your website on our website at awesome. k22.com. Um, is there anything else you'd like to add, Joey? Yes. You know, I just want to reiterate that the Prince Lot Hula Festival really does support the endeavors that they do in their programming, and we're fortunate to be able to bring that to the community and the students um, within the schools we serve. 
Um, but I especially want to thank sponsors and volunteers that really help make this Prince Hula Festival a free event. Mm -hmm. um, a big mahalo to presenting sponsor 7-Eleven Hawaii, Office of Native Hawaiian Relations, Department of the Interior, Hawaii Tourism Asso Authority, National Endowment for the Arts, Kamehameha Schools, Office of Hawaiian Affairs, Bank of Hawaii Foundation, City and County of Honolulu, Hawaiian Airlines, Royal Hawaiian Center, the Queen's Health S System, Care Hawaii, and so many more. Wonderful, and, so, and there are, and of course, it, it really takes a village to put does. something like this together. You couldn't be successful mm -hmm. without, you know, everyone, and the volunteers, amazing. Wonderful, amazing. love to hear that. Okay, and what are the details? When can people watch right here on KHON? Um, October 19th okay. from 7 to 9 p.m. Okay, make sure you tune in. Again, that's going to be coming up just a couple weeks away. Yes. And we'll have all the details as well online. Thank you both yep. so much for joining us. Thank you so Congratulations, much. Congratulations, because I know the event went so well. Yes. So I'm really excited to be able to bring it to the masses. And thank you for all that you do. Absolutely. All right, great thank work. you. Thank you.